All right, welcome back to yet another video in the Unreal Engine 5. Super awesome, mega cool inventory component system that is getting super complicated, but with lots of functionality and with will be the greatest inventory system ever made. So let's do it. Uh, we still got a bunch of stuff to do. We are at video like 29 or something. And I feel like we've done half of this stuff. This will easily be the longest tutorial series on YouTube for just one function, which is an inventory. So anyway, um, we will do menu stuff. Look at this. If I have a circle sword of darkness, which is a weapon, and I right click, and I use it, nothing happens. Also, it should probably not even be used, it should be equip. But, if I right click here and I right click on a consumable, I might be able to use it. But actually for console, for console when I think about it, actually it shouldn't, it should just be equip here, it shouldn't be used. And when I actually equip it, it should be unequip. Yep, that's how it should be. So, item menu, change text, equip. Mm, make it variable. So, this is equip button. This is destroy button. Ah, capital B. Okay, this is drop button was correct and cancel button was also correct. This is equip text. Yeah, I don't need those now. This is a variable, make sure. Yeah, we do set. So, construct, event construct, get held item, switch, uh, get defaults, switch, no, uh, actually, Is it's pa 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 pa? Because I should only be able to equip items that are actually equipment, but we might have a bunch of a bunch of other items also. But I mean, yeah, it still makes sense to use other items from the quick slot and not from the inventory itself. Do I need a use also? Like if it's potion, I could equip it, but I could also use it. Because maybe it's like a one-time buff that I don't want to actually have in the quick slot. We'll add that later in that case. Let's just do it like this for now. Uh, so, how do I ex yeah. uh, No, we have the owning slot now. Ta da! Get equipment slot. So if this menu appears from a slot in the inventory, it's going to be false because it's not an equipment slot. But if it's an equipment slot, it's going to be true. 
so we need to get the text this text here we need to set text if it's an equipment slot we're gonna set it to unequip and if it's an equipment slot we're gonna set it to equip so let's see if that works equip put it on unequip so that works now we also need to decide what to do uh, so item menu on clicked we need to do the same check here and basically what we need here is the logic from uh, the drops no from the inventory slot on drop Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, this just simply has to be a pretty messy function because we are doing a lot of stuff. let's see inventory slope on drop do I not check if it's an equipment slot yeah okay so basically all of this Can I turn all of this into a function? Da -da -da. <clears throat> Do I dare to? Okay, let's copy it first and we'll see. I'm a little bit scared. Let's, let's copy everything because this is basically if we drop on an equipment slot this is what happened and the same thing should happen almost I'm confused okay um, let's make this a function actually what we need is this held item because we don't need the payload because we already have the held item so basically we copy all of this collapse it to a function and it actually worked and this is gonna be no it's not gonna be the same
there we go class item so yeah check roped check equip item check equip item let's see if that works still just so that I didn't destroy anything. That still works. That still works. That still works. Okay, looks like it still works. So now we want to call this function in here from the owning slot. No, we don't. No, because this is executed on the actual slot we're dropping. So we need to <laughs> okay. So we need to get class defaults. We need to switch. So if we are right clicking, if we if the menu is from a item that is one of these we switch an item type. We need to get owning inventory widget. We need to get weapon slot. Get armor slot. Get consumable slot, and we need to call the function from the actual slots because here, here we are actually we are dropping on this on the equipment slot, so we already know it's an equipment slot. But here we actually need to get the equipment slot because the menu is created from a slot in the inventory. No, if it's this is the false logic. I'm sorry. Because it's not an equipment slot. Right. Check equip item. So this is from the weapon slot. This is the consumable slot. And this is the armor slot. And it's going to be held, the held item to all of them. And then that should automatically handle the rest of like removing from inventory and stuff I don't have very high hopes of that working in the first try but it actually did Yeah, except I need to remove this menu, obviously. And I can use the consumable item. I can actually equip the weapon as well. Yeah, looks like it works. That way over expectation. Uh, 
I just, when I press the button, I'm just gonna do a sequence. After we do this, we are gonna remove from parent self. That means the menu should also disappear. Yeah, that's way over expectations. That was smooth. That was really smooth. Usually I run into more problems. Uh, now we need to do the opposite. If it's an equipment slot. And it's like if we go to the inventory slot a couple of episodes ago, we did on mouse button double click. Now we actually have this unequipped slot. Okay, that's good. So in our, uh, go back to the in, in the item menu, we have this owning slot. So if it's a equipment slot, we just call unequip slot. And it's back. Yeah, that seems to work. That's pretty nice. That's actually super nice. Okay. Way above expectations. A quick and easy video for once without any issues and errors. Let's just see so it's replicating. And it is. Awesome. I guess that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching this for. I'm really happy I got a bunch of subscribers. We are at 4,200, I think. Uh, so yeah, channel is growing, all is cool and well. If you like, like the content, don't forget to subscribe. Also have a consideration to joining my patrons, link is in the description as always. Uh, that's super appreciated. All the money I get is going to my personal project that I'm developing. And yeah, everything is gonna be cool. See you in the next one.